You know, when you look back at in my career, this is my 30th year of coaching in college, and I, I look back to my time as a player, I just think probably sophomore, junior year, I knew that this that's what I wanted to do. I was always blessed with you know, a wonderful high school coach that took an interest in me beyond just being a player, and my college coach was the same way, and I felt like God always put a man in my life in, in the world of baseball that you know, made me feel like if I could go off and impact young people and get a chance to do it for a career, that's what I wanted to do. So I told my college coach, my pitching coach, listen, if I don't get a chance to play pro ball, I want to coach. I'll go anywhere. I'll do anything. I just want to be a coach. Well, just so happens one of his best friends, they were both grad assistants at Arkansas, had just gotten a head job at Texarkana Junior College. So I, in fact, went and interviewed with him in the spring of my senior year and had lunch with Dave Van Horn at uh, Catfish King in Texarkana, and he offered me the pitching job, told me he was going to pay me $2,000 a year, and when I got done playing that I could go to work. That's where it all started with, with Coach Van Horn. I worked at UPS in the mornings, loading trucks, went and coached during the day and worked on a master's at night, or a few nights a week. I ended up waiting tables at a sports bar in Texarkana, but it wasn't work to me. It was what I wanted to do. and. Went on to Northwood University, back to my alma mater for a year and a half, back to Texarkana as a head coach, and then Dave got the head job at Northwestern State in Louisiana. I wanted to coach at a big Division I school. I didn't play at a Division I school. It was an NAI school, and I wanted that opportunity. So I left a head job, went to, Texar or to Northwestern State with him. Was there two and a half years, and he got the job at the University of Nebraska, and I could have stayed as a 29-year-old assistant, been a Division I head coach, or gone to Nebraska. I chose to go there, and it was a place that had national name recognition at the time. The football program had just won back-to-back -back national championships, and a place where if you don't get it done, it, it's your own fault. So we rolled the dice. We both didn't know how to drive in the snow, and you know, just headed that way and you know we got things rolling maybe faster than we even knew that we could and went to Omaha three of the last five years that we were there and it's a place I could have been at for a long time but I wanted to be a head coach I wanted to be at a place that was close to my family and that narrows it down and you know after our run in 2005 I got a call from the athletic director at Texas A&M and you know, the rest was history. I think my wife accepted the job here before I did. And you couldn't put a pen any more in the middle of my family who's in East Texas and her family who is south of Houston than College Station. And we're at a place that year in, year out, has a chance to go to Omaha and win a national championship. And we're close to family and it just doesn't get any better than that. I mean, 15 years has gone by really fast.